Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to uh, go through the pump setup. Hopefully it will be quite informative for uh, anyone who wants to set this up. Um, it's quite complicated. But first of all, let's have a look at the actual um, filter itself. So to open it up, you just pull it over here and that lifts up. So you've got two filter mediums there. Um, honeycomb sponge and another filter there. Then we've got ceramic filter filtration for the bacteria there. Um, and this is an all-in-one system which is really heavy duty. So that's the filtration. To lock it, you just put it back over like that. And I want to go through the wiring because it can be quite daunting when you see this. Um, so the wiring cable we have here, which is this um, little transformer here, is actually for the LED light and the UV um, light in there as well. Um, unfortunately, they don't include... Um, any uh, plugs which is quite disappointing for the amount of money you spend I would have thought it would be common sense to just give you even some indoor plugs at the very least anyway here's the system um, I've set it up as where you've got the fountain at the top but you can also attach the waterfall that I've um, set up on the actual um, half moon pond which you can attach on there this controls the flow. So obviously if you have both set up you won't have a, a big fountain going off. Um, but if you're like me would like both to be running simultaneously that's how you do that. However if you decide you just want the fountain you can obviously uh, take all this off. Let me just unscrew that. Take all that off. Attach one of these nozzles here. This is just for the waterfall. Um, put it back on there, like so. And then you just attach your, your pipe, um, your uh, PVC um, pipe to that for your waterfall. And obviously, um, that is pretty good. Um, if you want to control the flow, however, of your waterfall, you can do that. Um, I'm taking that off. Because this, this little device controls the flow, you see. Um, so what you can do is take that off. Well, what's pretty good about this pump is it's, it's quite high quality and heavy duty um, so you know it should it should be more than useful for anyone who uh, wants to do this um, also has a telescopic arm on here so you know that that can go up and down um, so you just reattach the floor like so um, put the nozzle on the top and that will allow you to actually control the flow of the waterfall by putting the nozzle on there. So as you can see it's very versatile, there's very op many options on here for um, having multiple options on here. Obviously I'll go through the three heads that you get for the fountain. Uh, you have the globe uh, effect which is like a, a solid water, water um, sphere around the actual fountain. Um, you have the spray type and a smaller version of that. Um, so you've really got three options. You've got your waterfall, well four really. You've got your waterfall and the fountain or you've just got the, the various the three options for the fountain um, or the waterfall in, in its entirety on its own. So it's up to you, you know, 
how good you think this is. So it is an all-in-one system and it, is, it does take a lot of room up in the pond. Just keep that in mind when you're thinking about you, the, the size of the pump. Um, you know, I've got some really small ones for a small pond which are only about so big. Um, but this is really big. But it should give you clear water. Um, why the UV um, light is very important in there is to try and keep your algae down. Um, if you're the type of person that likes clear water and don't want green water, um, that will be invaluable. Um, basically, it kills the algae off. Anyway, um, I just hope this little video was helpful. Um, obviously, you do get extra bits and bobs. You do get an extension arm as well. So if you want it to be higher, maybe protruding out the water if you wish to, um, you've got that. Um, but I just thought this little video was helpful in terms of uh, showcasing what's included. Um, the only challenging part of this, I think, will be um, the fact that there's no plugs. And if you do want to use it indoors, like as I've got it set up indoors, um, I'm going to have to get some plugs and wire that up myself. Um, wiring isn't too difficult with plugs, don't be too concerned. And if you're uh, unsure, just pop on YouTube and watch someone who will show you. There's lots of DIY people on YouTube who are more than happy to show you how to do basic DIY jobs. So, I just wanted to showcase <coughs> what this pump does um, with the Half Moon mocker that I've got here. Um, one other feature that I don't think I've mentioned is there is a, a, a ball joint here. So you can aim it um, if you want the waterfall to, you know, fall off a certain, you know, way, um, a certain angle. So I just hope you find this video helpful and thanks for your time. Right, I've more or less set up. I'm just filling it up and I'm just testing it out to see uh, how it performs with both the fountain and the waterfall feature. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this, um, but it has, to be honest with you, they recommend it takes about an hour to do. I've spent about the best part of the day doing this, 